Hey there, let's have a look at what's new in Wobo this month. So first I'm gonna show you the members feature. So what this lets you do is invite members of your team into Wobo. You can choose custom permissions for them that choose whether they can edit or just view. So to do that, head under settings to members, click add member, invite them, and then choose whether they're a partner or a viewer. And you can check out the little blurb below to see what that means. Basically lots of editing capability, and viewers are more so just viewing workbooks, viewing student content, but they can't actually make changes to your workbooks. So inviting someone lets them log into your Wobo account and lets them edit your workbooks, collaborate with you, um, so you don't have to share logins or anything like that. The other update under settings is if you go to workbook settings, this page is totally new and includes a bunch of things that will let you customize um, workbook settings. So the first one is we've added a bunch of features that will help you protect your IP in Wobo. So first one is adding watermarks. You can choose either just adding the student name and email for each student, or you can put custom watermark text and this will show up in the bottom margin. So do not distribute, do not share, copyright information, all of that can go in the bottom margin. The other option that will let you protect your IP is to disable text copying. So when students encounter the workbook, either in the standalone version or embedded in your online course, you can choose to disable the ability for them to highlight and copy text to make it a little bit more difficult for them to easily share the content. Next up are page dimensions. So the default will still be US letter, but we've added support for A4 page size when you're downloading to PDF. Um, depending on your selection too, you'll see better suggestions for cover image dimensions when you're creating your workbook. And then finally, you can choose to add page numbers in the bottom margin of your downloaded PDF. The other changes I'm going to show you are in the workbook editor, so I'll head back that way. I'll mention the templates have been updated as well to include a bunch of new sections that we've added, so check those out if you want to see uh, some of these new sections in action. So the first one I'm going to show you is fill in the blanks. So if you go to one of the workbook templates, um, the fill in the blanks will let you create a phrase with input fields that your students can complete. So um, you can have them, you know, complete a thought, input text into these fields to kind of complete the sentence with their own input. Um, so when you're building it, you're just creating alternating prompts and input fields. Um, and then you'll see the preview right, right away so you can, you can build it out that way. The other thing that's new when you're building a workbook is that you can add alternative text to images. So what this will do is if you have visually impaired students that are using a screen reader, when the uh, screen reader comes across the image, it'll read out the description that you put to help them understand a bit more what's going on in that section of the workbook. The other section that's new is if I go to add a section here, you'll see a new download link option for module download link. So you can still input a workbook download link that will include the entire workbook and your students' responses, but you can also do a module download link that's just the one module. So the collection of sections um, in which this module download link is contained. So you can um, drip out content this way, or you can just create smaller downloads for your students. The next new option here is related to embedding. So when you embed the workbook, you can still embed just a module, but you can also embed the entire workbook. So just one link for the whole workbook. And then I'll show you in a course, you'll get this new navigation along the top that just pulls from your button color um, and your students can move through the workbook um, and see the entire thing at once. So you could show this at the end and it would contain all of the responses or at the beginning for a little preview or if they wanted to print out the whole thing. Um, so that will help with that. One more update on the topic of creating your workbook. I'll show you the mobile preview. We've made it so the tables scroll independently from the rest of the workbook. So if you saw it before, you know what I'm talking about, but it just makes it a lot smoother of a, a mobile experience when you're using tables. Uh, the last update is related to um, previewing as a student. So you can add yourself if you go to view students Add the email that you use for Wobo, you'll see a drop down here that will go to your student dashboard and you can actually see exactly what it's like to be a student in the standalone version of Wobo. You can keep your responses and print your workbook just as if you were a student.